Good morning, Soul family, and welcome. This is a All Zodiac Read, Daily Read, collectively, for whoever resonates around manifestation and spirituality primarily, love and relationship. I like to focus here on, uh, you could say this is uh, my own personal reading. I don't normally read for myself, it's been my habit for years, and I felt like this reading would be where I kind of share myself along the lines of Terrence McKenna saying, find the others. So I'm thinking I can't be alone, there's eight billion people, there's other people out there, maybe they have sad sons, maybe they don't, sons not everything, as an astrologer I know this. So. The soul family is everyone that are meaningfully collected, connected with, in my opinion, you know. Obviously, lovers, friends, children, parents, siblings, family. Um, maybe the thread is love that binds, you know, a sense of you. I, I love this person. I love what they stand for. I, I love how they act. <clears throat> I love what they say, you know, whatever it is. So when I focus on a card like this in the morning, I then want to pull it. For this old family read and just see which cards on either side of it and i find it used to be highly instructive uh, speaking of um, terms of the spiritual meaning almost like a dream uh, maybe a collective dream i hope and uh, i want to read uh, from the gilded classic tarot book here it's just a few paragraphs about the world card i'll make this a reading about the world really what i'm thinking about today for the soul family here um, now on the 8th of December is uh, about uh, not only career but the 10th house uh, it's the energy that we choose to give to the world the thing that we what we do like we uh, don't just exist in the world doing nothing did we do something and I'd like to see the 10th house in the most broadest sense as what it is that we do in the world, you know. Um, and let me read then these few paragraphs. A woman stands with poise, dignity, and assurance. In the world. She stands before the world surrounded by laurel wreath, indicating her mastery. She holds wands, representing her will in both hands. Unlike other figures in the major arcana, her will is in tune with both sides of herself. She has achieved balance of her consciousness and her unconsciousness. Last card in the major arcana. She celebrates a great accomplishment. For this, she is recognized by the world and more importantly, by her own self. And I think, insert to higher self, the message of the world and higher self by the way, here's the holy mackerel. The message of the world is that of completion and accomplishment. You feel a sense of unity with the universe and a mastery over self that is natural and effortless. You move to the rhythm of nature and your heart. They are one. Be aware of a false sense of security. In theory, the world represents total completion. However, in our human lives, this is never really achieved, but because we are human still, we can achieve only partial or temporary oneness. This temporary or partial experiences encourages us to keep growing and moving forward. If for no other reason than to experience that exquisite moment of freedom and understanding again. Wow. So, um... Last card of the major arcana, when you've leveled up, it's, um, how long does it take to get there to the world? It also seems to me a process, uh, really, the tarot, you start with the fool, the baby, and you imagine the first steps, and you know, you end with the world. But what really amazes me is, this is our energy. I would normally say, like in a love reading, this is where you are in and around love and relationships. But this is where we are in and around spirituality and manifestation. This is reading our deeper spiritual energies. And my friends, I mean, we didn't get to the world 
you know, without first this complete self-mastery. This is a submission to the higher self, a will to the higher self here, this hair I mean, I'm not saying what that always means exactly, but in this reading, this is the position. Where are we at? Where's our heart and mind at in terms of manifestation and spirituality? And dear God, man, I mean, we're right there, right? I mean, we're running the show. <laughs> um, and what's happening right now, I'd say right now, is this achievement of the world and this is going to catapult us into action and i think this eight of wands here is action communication fire wands fire so sure look at aries leo sagittarius also look at the first house and the fifth house and the ninth house in your natal and in your progress what's going on Where's the fire? Where's the fire? That's what I want to ask with this reading. Where is the fire? Because wherever the fire is, that's where whoever watching this reading, if you think you're part of the soul family, you've been following the spiritual path. Now we're past these Sagittarius eclipses and here we go. Um, but now um, I think this coming year, um, it, the, we're gonna whatever we we stand for, whatever we desire, whatever we it, it, tenth house is what we really are willing to work for. Whatever it is we work for and put consistency in Saturn structure in, you know Saturn commitment to um, Saturn, you know, core strength, you know, actually doing something. Saturn is actually paying the bills and keeping the light on. It's all those practical things, nuts and bolts things that a lot of spiritual people, you know, oh, well, that's just, that's not that important. Well, it isn't until you're sitting in a cold dark because you didn't pay your bills. Then Saturn's like, uh-oh, Saturn, I get it now. Um... But wow, this is like, too, with the world, it seems like some kind of freedom from all the kind of mundane things. It's like if, if we've gotten to this point, you know, basically in terms of uh, basic needs are met, and I think moving into this world energy is going to be getting out of ourselves. It's kind of moving. I'm talking about the 10th house so much here. Uh, this energy is public image, too. What are we going to do? How would the public see us, you know, um, and here we're gonna they're gonna see us on fire they're gonna see us on fire there's just a glow up a light up a blow up um, there's fire coming and i think it's coming for a lot of people it's uh almost like to me this energy's coming i don't know my tinnitus has hit me the other day dave it's like geez the tinnitus is a kind of protection it sounds insane to say it was like a download um it creates this energetic uh, field and protects me. <laughs> I've had for years, but it's gotten fantastically worse over the last, since COVID, <laughs> since COVID, it's like I, the energy's been coming in so strong. And so it doesn't really bother me because I was thinking like it doesn't bother. I've gotten like used to it. It's, it's just part of my life. And I don't go, oh, I, I don't lay awake at night. I don't even normally hear it anymore. Uh, but then it, hear, it dawned to me, this uh, this is something that's healing me, it's helping me, protecting me. But I'm telling you, um, yeah, I think like um, this is a go time is coming. I think spring too. Look at the kind of picture here, kind of pastoral, everything's green. Think of the northern hemisphere, not uh, Cancun, Mexico, right? So... Um, I'm thinking this is spring. It's going to really be an interesting spring once we get uh, get back over to Aries season, guys. It's going to be an Aries kind of year, right? So let me know what you think of this. Thank you. If you could think of any medium to share this on, uh, let me know uh, or do it. <laughs> Thank you. And do subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell. Trying to get to that thousand. We start doing some live readings. And uh, appreciate it.